Hey, this is Ryan from 60 Cycle Home, the guitar podcast. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the Harmony Guitars and Amps reboot that was at NAMM 2018. I just got back from there a week ago, and it's still fresh in my mind, and I want to talk about it because I didn't get any video coverage, and I didn't talk about it on the podcast with Steve. But anyways, I was walking by the booth, and I saw this bad boy hanging on the wall, and I have some thoughts about it. I have some things that I think could be conversation starters, so let's get into it, huh? Anyways, uh, this thing came in a beautiful champagne gold finish that I was just smitten with. Everyone knows that I love gold finished guitars. I got one right back there. Uh, it has this like custom hardware that they had made just for them for the bridge. It's basically a half telly style bridge with uh, three uh, saddle pieces on it, but really attractive. You can tell that it's unique to their guitars and not off the shelf hardware. Uh, hand-wired custom uh, gold foil pickups in this thing. These were like a mini bucker size and their other guitars had a humbucker size. Uh, all in all, the fit and finish on this guitar was just spectacular. It felt comparable to what I'd call like a $2,000, like $2,500 like boutique, like handcrafted style guitar. Like that was the level of fit and finish on this thing. These are just prototypes. I even have a screenshot here of the back of one of the headstocks. It says Silhouette Prototype 2 NAMM 2018. Uh, so I'm honestly really wondering what the production models are going to be like. Are they going to be to the level of qualities that these prototypes were? And what's the price point going to be? I asked the rep there what the price point would be. And I got kind of like, uh, eh, not so sure. Like, uh, here's, you know, like kind of hinting. It might be like this, might be like that. I was getting the vibe that it's going to be above a thousand, but there was no hard numbers put out there. I don't know how far above a thousand, but it's definitely... Uh, I was getting a vibe that these are going to be premium instruments uh, pushing to compete with American guitars. Uh, the prototypes, as far as I understand, were produced by Heritage Guitars, which was sharing a booth with Harmony and a few other brands. Tysco, Mono, and Heritage were all together. And then Harmony had a bunch of uh, amps in there as well, which I'll talk about next. Let's talk about the amps. The amps were just stunning. Beautiful amps. I can't remember the last time I saw amps this beautiful from a brand that I honestly would not expect this level of build quality from them. They, it's just the aesthetics were just stunning. Uh, kind of like this throwback to like 50s and 60s kind of like automotive look. Like I wouldn't be you know surprised to see a, a shot of an old like prototype like like a show floor, like Cadillac with speaker baffles sticking out at that uh, beautiful little angle there. I'm a big fan of that angle on the baffle. I think it's so sharp looking. Uh, these amps, they're just like furniture. I would put these in my living room as show pieces and be like, oh yeah, that's an amp, but you know, we don't play that amp. That's only for special occasions. <laughs> I did plug into them. I thought they sounded good. Uh, they had this really strong kind of like Silvertone sort of vibe, which isn't a big surprise. Harmony and Silvertone share uh, lineage from the past. Harmony was basically the company that produced Silvertones. Uh, so it's interesting to see Harmony showing back up, being rebooted as a premium brand. That's the part that's really interesting to me. Uh, if they keep the build quality of the guitars and those amps in the production models, I would not be surprised to see these guitars going over $1,500, maybe even close to $2,000. It's pretty crazy to think about. Like That's where the build quality was. Uh, I could be totally off base and the production models might come out and they'll be six or seven hundred dollars or something, but I'd be floored, especially if they're anywhere near the build quality of these guitars that I was playing around with at Winter Nam. Uh, as far as the amps go, like I said, silver tone vibe, they look great. Uh, they're full featured for each size that they come in uh, spring reverb, tremolo, tremolo, okay. I caught myself there. It's tremolo. I'm terrible at pronouncing tremolo. I always say tremolo. Um, but anyways, uh, the big one has an attenuator on the back. You can see in that photo. I should be putting these photos up here. I don't know. You need to hold up the iPad. Uh, it makes me feel crazy looking down at it. 
not showing you. But anyways, yeah, I'm just really impressed by these prototypes. And uh, here's my big question that I want you guys to answer down in the comments. Is there a market for these? Do people want a premium Harmony guitar or amp? Uh, do they want them made with premium woods and premium fit and finishing and hand wound pickups and the whole shebang, all the bells and whistles? Is there a market for that? Uh, I thought it played great. I love the look of the uh, the old Harmony, uh, uh, what is the name of the model again? I'm embarrassing myself now. Silhouette, the old Harmony Silhouette guitar shape, which is also the, uh, the Silvertone Bobcat shape. I think it's just really classy. I think the execution is completely there. I'm just wondering, do people want these? Uh, so let me know down in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude comments. I can handle it. If you want to support this channel, uh, check out the link to our Patreon page. Uh, I don't make a lot of money doing this, uh, almost none. And I'm trying to make it more sustainable for me so I can keep making content for you. All right. Later, guys.